He's also, we know, the owner of X, a uh, <laughs> company <laughs> formerly known as Twitter. Never heard of it. You heard of it? <laughs> Statistically, uh, 560 monthly average users, 34 minutes a day, 75% under 35. So a pretty important platform in our industry. And, you know, I don't agree with Elon on everything. What? Um, no. Come on. But he owns an important platform, and I thought we should listen to him and understand a little bit about what he's trying to do. So we're going to talk this morning about X. Hopefully we'll talk a bit about AI, and then about innovation and creativity and why you get up in the morning. What, 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 what do you disagree with me about? Creativity? <laughs> AI is not going to destroy that. Okay. Um, so Elon, welcome to the heart of the advertising industry. Now, back in um, November, you had, a, you had a message to us. Um, you told us to sort of go fuck ourselves. That this had been said online. There was all of the criticism. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If, if somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. So maybe we start there. Why? Well, I mean, I mean, it's a serious question. It's a, it's a serious question. Yeah. Why did you say that? And what did you mean by that? Well, <laughs> um, well, first of all, it wasn't a, um, you know, it wasn't to the advertiser, to advertisers as a whole. It was, uh, with respect to freedom of speech, I think there, it is important to have a, a global free speech platform where people from a wide range of opinions can voice their, their views. Um, and, um, and in some cases, uh, there were advertisers who were uh, insisting on censorship. And at, the, and at the end of the day, if there is censorship, uh, if we have to make a choice between censorship and money, you know, if, if censorship and money or free speech and losing money, we're going to pick the second. We're going we're to support free speech uh, rather than, than uh, agree to be censored for, for money, which is, um, I think, the right moral decision. Now, of course, uh, advertisers have a right to appear next to content that they find uh, compatible with their brands. That's totally fine. I think that, that is, that, that's, that's, again, a choice of an advertiser to appear next to content that they think fits with their brand. That's totally cool. But what, what is not cool is insisting that, that there can be no content that they disagree with on the platform. So like and other media proprietors who want to run the editorial policy of the company, you feel, you know, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't be under pressure to make that compromise between money and freedom of speech. Yes, it's, I think there's an important, it's an important distinction here that uh, we, don't, we don't want to have, we, we don't want to take money to censor. Yeah. That would be to censor broadly in the platform. I think that would be wrong. Um, I think free speech is the bedrock of, de of democracy, um, and if the people, in order for X to be the, the public square of the world, it's got to it's, it's really got to be a free speech platform. Um, now that, that doesn't mean people can say illegal things. Yep. Um, it's free speech within the bounds of the law, um, but not not going further than the law uh, for, for a particular country. Um, I think it's imperative that the, the people have a right to speak. Um, uh, but at, by the same token, you know, the adver you know, advertisers have a right to appear next to content that they feel is compatible with their brand. Yeah, and that's the brand safety question, which right. I'm going to ask you next, which is, you know, to be clear, you do, you do understand and believe in brand safety in that sense. Yes, I mean, I, I, I believe in a sort of freedom of choice in the sense that Advertisers have a right to appear next to content that they think is compatible with their brand. Yeah. Um, you know, sort of a, a company like, for example, Red Bull will be more probably more adventurous uh, than than you know some other brands that are selling baby toys. Yeah. <laughs> you know. 
So one of the other, you know, I mean, we'll, we'll get through the sort of more controversial topics to start with. You know, one of the other questions is like your role on the platform, the tweets that you make. Are there any you regret, do you think? I mean, not every post I make is a banger. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, and I do shoot myself in the foot uh, from time to time. Um, but, uh, you know, at least you know it's genuine. It's not yeah. some sort of uh, PR department deciding things. So, you know, if, if, if you're a normal human being and you speak freely, there are times when you will say things that you subsequently regret or, or are foolish, of course. Um, but if, if you're constantly um, going through a filter, now you're not being real. So I guess I think it's better to be real um, than to go through a filter. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates.